What's up? It's Anthony Goods here, and I'm back with another breakdown. And today we're going to be talking about assists, particularly in Europe. As we know, an assist is a pass that directly leads to a bucket. However, in Europe, an assist is a pass that directly leads to a bucket, but it's also a pass that directly leads to any kind of point. So you can make a pass, player gets fouled, and he makes one free throw. That is an assist in Europe. So on this breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down the differences in assists or show you some foul assists that occur in Europe. As always, please like, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and look out for the next breakdown. Because of coverages, spacing, and time, it is more difficult to rack up assists in Europe. However, one advantage in Europe is you get credited for an assist if a player gets fouled and makes a free throw. Assists universally are at the discretion of the statistician because an assist is supposed to be a pass that directly leads to a bucket. As we know, sometimes we can swing the ball, jab a hundred times, and we still get the assist. The question is, if a good pass leads to a foul and free throws, should the NBA start counting these as assists, and what effect would that have on assist numbers and records? Now that we have an idea of what a foul assist is, is this something that we should be implementing in United States basketball? at the college, NBA, and maybe even the high school level. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I appreciate you guys for watching.